Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to continue our obelisk model. So in our last video, we have finished the high poly sculpting in ZBrush and today we are going to export the high poly mesh and the low poly mesh from ZBrush to Maya and we are going to unwrap the low poly mesh. I just go to sub tool and I'm going to merge all these meshes together and I'm going to click on this merge down and click on this always okay. So, and if we keep clicking on this merge down, it's going to merge all these uh, sub tools together. So just click a few more times and you'll get a separate sub tool. So now we have merged everything together. So let's go here in the export and I'm going to export it. You can also decimate it before exporting. So let's try that. So I'm going to go to this Z plugin and uh, decimation master. I'm going to click here pre-process all and it's going to pre-process all these polygons. It might take a few minutes. So just uh, sit back and relax and let it finish. So we have uh, processed everything. Let's go to Z plugin again and uh, here we need to set up the percentage of decimation. So I'm just going to take about 30 percent of the current points so we are selected to 30 percent and uh, click on this decimate all so we are done with the decimation and we have reduced our polygons from 3.6 million to 1 million and i think this much is enough for our high poly mesh so i'll just uh, go here and export everything so go to this export and uh, I'm just going to go to my project and export it as FPX save and click OK so we have exported our mesh so let's uh, remesh it and create a low poly version of this mesh so i'll just go to this z remesher so let's uh, close this up tool and go to geometry let's go to z remesher and here i'll just try to turn down the number of polygons and create a low poly mesh of this so let's try to click on this z remesher button and see how it works so we are done with the low poly mesh and and this is under 11,000 and I think this much is uh, more than enough for this type of mesh so I'll just export this one as well so I'll go to export and uh, go to my project and export it as obelisk underscore low and okay so i'm in maya and i'm going to set my project so let's go to file and set project click on your monument set it and i'm going to go to file and uh, import so now we have this low and high so select one of them and then import now the high poly mesh is going to take a while to import in maya so if your maya hangs don't worry about it let it process everything and in few minutes your mesh will appear in your viewport so we have imported our high poly mesh let's import our low poly model so go to import and let's select this so this one is our high poly mesh rename it as obelisk underscore high and this one is low poly mesh so underscore low now we imported both of them just to make sure that they are on the same place on the grid so now they are overlapping it means the position of both meshes are correct so I'm going to 
select this obelisk and uh, export one more time because substance painter doesn't work very well with fpx so just to be on the safer side i'm just going to export it one more time as obj i'm going to rename the same and uh, change it to obj and export selection so we have exported now i'm going to hide it so just select your mesh and press h to hide and now we have this mesh we need to unwrap it so i'm going to change the viewport to uv editing and uh, let's start with this big one so i'm going to just uh, separate all these select this one and isolate it so one more thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use this uh, retopologize tool so go here and i'm going to change the target face count and click on this apply and we are done with the retopology and we have reduced the polygon count in this mesh so close it and uh, now let's unwrap this again uh, go to camera based and just select the seams or just select the faces down here to create and uh, planner project from y apply and uh, now you can unfold this so place it here and you can just cut through the extra faces remove them keep them on the side for now and uh, for these faces what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to front view and select all these faces like this and uh, go to face mode and just deselect these ones remove these ones like this and uh, just project from anywhere or you can use automatic place them here and we'll deal with these later so for this part i'm going to select these faces so go to face mode press tab and just keep selecting these faces like this And uh, let's go to create planner 
and pro and project from uh, Z apply and now you can unfold this keep it aside and uh, let's go to face mode and select these ones like this and uh, press control then go to edges to edge parameter and uh, then go to edges in your uv cut go to shell mode bring this shell out add one cut anywhere you want for example like this cut it and then unfold like this so these parts are done and as for this part let's go to face mode again and this time i'm going to select let's select something like this if it doesn't work then uh, you can remove all the extra selected faces and now press control right click and to edge parameter and let's deselect these one like this and now we have selected the seam so again cut and uh, remove this shell add one cut anywhere you want on the corners cut again and unfold now select this one and for this one what i'm going to do is uh, i'll just use automatic mapping if it doesn't work right then uh, i'm going to again go to edge mode or the face mode and manually select the faces or edges to create the theme so i think i'll just go to in the front view and use tab to select the faces like this or what you can do is just select any four faces here and then use grow selection like this and manually select the left out faces like this
and to remove these unwanted spaces go to face mode in your uh, UV editor just deselect everything else go to create and uh, in the planner project from Z and apply and uh, unfold keep it here and as for this part I'm just going to add a cut here like this and uh, one here remove this unfold it merge it let's select the edges and move and sew unfold and for this I'm just going to go to face mode and again let's select these faces and just deselect all the other faces like this make sure only the top faces are selected and uh, go to create planner project from y and apply then uh, unfold place it here for now now let's go back to this shell and let's try to add a cut here and uh, one here And just remove the shell and fold it and uh, attach it like this and for this one I'm just going to simply unfold it and should come up fine and as for these edges I'll just cut and fold and uh, merge them and fold it again. Move into this one, select everything, unfold. And for this one, let's move and sew like this. And this one should be unwrapped just fine. Select everything, unfold one more time and layout. For this one, I'll just rotate it like this and add a cut here and here and then unfold again 
now select everything unfold and layout fix the orientation like this and layout one last time and we are done with the unwrapping of this obelisk now let's bring back your meshes and uh, let's unwrap this so for this i'll just try to use uh, automatic mapping so let's try that if it doesn't work then use camera based and uh, for the themes i'm just going to go to my front view go to face mode select all these faces and go to create planner project from y and apply place it here and fold it and for this one just add a seam anywhere you want like this or on the top let's select these faces on the top go to create and again planner unfold and for this one add a cut like this and uh, cut this unfold it and uh, layout fix the orientation like this again select everything unfold and then layout so we are done with the obelisk and one of the rocks so all the other rocks are going to be unwrapped just like this so i'm just going to finish this video here and uh, i hope you understand the workflow and uh, you enjoyed this video as well and if you did then drop a like on this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new and in the next one we are going to export this to substance painter and texture it so i'll see you in the next part of this video thanks for watching